So apologies for the background. <laughs> a lot of it's been taken down and, and moved to my new place. So it doesn't look as vibrant anymore, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> also another thing, quickly before I start, I am recovering from a pretty bad cold. So my voice is slightly nasally and like, I will be co might be coughing or sniffling throughout the video. So please bear with me. I'm getting over it. I'm trying to get over it by Christmas because Christmas is in a couple of days. And this cold has ruined my plans for this week because I was going to upload a video every day um, leading up to Christmas. But I've had absolutely no energy to do it. As you can tell, I'm still a bit stuffed up in my nose and everything. But I'm back and I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. So expect a lot of unboxing videos coming soon because I have a load that have been pre-recorded from many like weeks ago and stuff like that. Stuff that I've not gotten around to editing yet, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but today we're going to be covering a box set that I got pretty recently. And I know a lot of people, when they see the title, they're probably going to run away from the video. But I'll give my honest thoughts on this in a sec. And that is the Yes Deluxe Edition of the new album, The Quest. I got round to listening to it finally a couple of days ago, and I really enjoyed it. You know, I, I out of all the newer era Yes material, I think this album has probably been my favourite. Um, you know, so what if it doesn't have John Anderson or Rick Wakeman or anyone, like or Chris Squire for a matter of, matter of fact, on this album, I only care about the music content. A lot of people are really focusing on the lineup, and that is, you know, giving them their opinions on the album and this kind of section of albums that's come out. But come on, just listen to the music. If you don't like the music, that's a fair enough reason. If you don't like the music for the fact that it's not got your favourite yes lineup, that is absolutely ridiculous. So all that aside, this was a great album, really enjoyed it and decided to invest in the box set. So this looks very cool on the side here. I just want to show you. So it's actually got like a little section of the artwork there and then it just has the name of the album. Oh, what's upside down? Name of the album and yes. I really like the artwork for this album. It's very vibrant and nice. I really liked the singles from this album as well. Um, out of the two that came out, I prefer the Ice Bridge. Because that is almost like a neo prog kind of sounding uh, song. Okay, so once you've opened the box, this is what you're greeted with. So I will show you the contents now. So you get a certificate of authenticity and your number for the... Because it's a limited edition box. I'm number 609 out of 5,000. You also get a slip mat which I will not be using because my current slip mat is well, the one from the 2112 box and I much prefer the logo of that one. Uh, I don't know if I've showed you that, but if you have the box that you know what I'm talking about. But this is a really cool slip mat anyway. It's not double-sided, but it still looks very cool. As I said, I really love the artwork for this. Then you get a nice booklet with interviews, you know, bits and pieces about the album, photographs, lyrics all of the good stuff that you can read while listening to the album um and all the credits and all that stuff but there's a lot of stuff about the recording of this album which is something i'm interested in i'm always interested in the recording processes of albums you know every time i get one of these box sets and rip it open to um read the book i always learn something new always always and it makes me really happy so then you get a giant poster. I'm not sure if I should undo it all, but I will for the video. It is just an extended version of the artwork, which is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So that wraps up into like a vinyl size. And this is also a vinyl and CD box set. So I will show you the vinyl. It is a gatefold, uh, gatefolded album, which is nice. Um, it is a double album. I don't think it is a double album, but it's got two discs. There we go. That's the gatefold. That's the back. And I, I love the logo. Yeah, I love it. Um, 
and then the CD, which I already had back in Brighton, but I've got another copy here, so my dad can listen to it that way. And that is the inside there. You get a little yes pin, which will not be moving from the box. It's the same with the um, Emerson, Lake and Palmer fanfare box set. There's a little pin in the middle of the CD compartment of the box set. And I have just not touched that. Do you know what really annoys me about that, actually? So I bought that box set, like, a couple of months before they reissued it. So I have a first edition of it, but I paid a lot of money for it. Or <laughs> just for them to reissue the same box set for, like, a quarter of the price that I paid for it. Like, I'm so angry. I mean, the one benefit is that I can say I have a first edition of the Fanfare box set, but it cost a fucking fortunes excuse my french it was just unbelievably expensive um and then they reissued it I had to reissue it probably due to high demand so that is that box set let me know what you thought of the album and if you own this box set um but yeah don't get too angry that i liked the album because i know there'll be a few people that are like why do you like this album I'm not willing to write out 10 paragraphs to 10 different people about why I like the album. There will be a review of the album coming out shortly, probably now after Christmas. I was going to do it this week, but I've been too sick. But I will post a review about this album very soon. Um, but as I said, expect a lot more unboxings because there are a lot of those. I don't know, they don't really... They don't really appeal to many people. You know, they, they don't even seem to do as well, but... I just love doing them. I love taking apart things and putting them back together. That is like one of my favourite things to do. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to upload another unboxing. I'm probably going to film it actually right after this video, uh, which will be a surprise. So look forward to that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.